1919, Marvin Cohn began teaching French at Coe College. Shortly after joining the faculty, he proposed the creation of an art department at Coe. With $150 appropriation from the Board of Trustees, Cohn was soon teaching drawing classes on campus. He went on to chair a newly formed art department and taught at the college for more than 40 years. Many of Cohn's personal papers are housed today in the archives of the Cedar Rapids Museum of Art. Among these papers, there is a document that outlines the objectives for the foundation of an art department at a small Midwestern college. Although this document is unsigned and undated, it appears to present the values Cohn promoted as he founded the art department at Coe. These same values have continued to ground and inspire Coe's art department for almost 100 years. Some objectives of an art department in a Midwest college. Provide opportunity for actual participation in creative work and at least some basic training for students with professional aims. Let life be observed, experienced, felt by someone sensitive to his environment whose creative imagination has not been stifled. And let him express in visible, audible, or readable form his reactions to these experiences. The result may be a statue, a poem, a painting, a song, or a skyscraper. Our students are always involved in creative work. It's central to what we do. A part of what we do is teaching students how to think. Uh, this is a liberal arts college. We want them to be smart artists. We want them to think about what they're making. And we want their vision to be expressed as clearly, as powerfully as possible. The whole process of creativity involves physical involvement, uh, intuitive engagement with materials, and those processes then lead to uh, discovery on the part of the student. Discovery involves looking. Discovery involves trial and error. So we encourage our students to get into the thick of it, to get their hands dirty, to find out what materials will do, uh, to think about form, to think about uh, the articulation of form, which we could call craftsmanship. They need to learn technical skills in order to do that. They need to have an understanding of composition. And all of those things are ways of engaging with the materials, engaging with the form in a process that ultimately will lead to a discovery of something that has power, potency. Provide a teaching force of producing artists. You know, I think Marvin Cohen is to be commended for having put together these, these sort of series of objectives that a good art department should have. And, and I think he was maybe ahead of his time at that point in time. And the issue of being producing artists is a critical one. What we're asking our students to do when we bring them into the classroom is to, in essence, by the time they graduate, become artists. We know that that's not an easy thing to do, that there are struggles to being an artist. And so we can teach them skills and we can teach them concepts, but one of the most important things we do is model for them what an artist is. And you know, if, if we're not out producing artwork ourselves, what we present to them could sort of be dry and lifeless. It reminds us that they run into these same kinds of problems with their own artwork. Uh, and we have a sensitivity to dealing with that and helping them deal with those kinds of issues that I don't think we would have otherwise. Present courses in art history to acquaint students with the achievements of outstanding creators of all ages. Life takes on meaning, for art offers not an escape from life, but an entrance into life, life so intensified that we readily enjoy its savor. A study of the great masterpieces permits us to see what life has been at its finest moments.
What we've tried to do with the new art history program at CO is to take art history beyond the classroom. It's important for students to, to read about art history in their textbooks and in the readings we have for class. It's important for them to come to class and practice on the images that they see. But what we're trying to do is to prepare them to go out into the world and use the strategies for visual analysis in their everyday lives. They go to the museum and they look at Roman portrait busts. Sometimes we go to the Masonic Museum and look at their uh, collection of curiosities. Uh, we walk down the street and look at public sculpture. Um, anything we can do to remind students that they are surrounded by visual culture and that it all has meaning. And so for someone who's making their own work and doing their own work, to understand the richness of the conversation of what's come before and to be able to incorporate that and further that and to bring it into their own work, I think they will make better work. Build up a collection of artworks on the campus. The influence of contact with art is a potent one. If you like today the same sort of pictures you were fond of years ago and only these, watch out. It may be a sign that you are dead. One of the things that we emphasize in the art department here at CO, and that is a very critical component, an exciting component, is students being able to actually physically engage with the real deal, the authentic art object or art piece. And for the students to be able to have the ability to take an intaglio or a lithograph or a silk screen and hold it physically in their hands and see the object as an art object, there's, a, there's almost a visceral response that you can't duplicate. They can touch it, they can feel it. Sometimes they even put their lips to it and experience it not as a, you know, separate from them but as a physical entity which is really different. It brings an immediacy to the imagery and to the artwork that the, that the students cannot have any other way other than interacting with the real physical object. Bring exhibitions of art to the campus for all students and faculty. The paintings that go to make up our current exhibitions reflect this multicolored life. They are alive. One must be alive to recognize life. The purpose of the Sinclair Galleries is to bring a variety of artworks to the campus. Coming from a variety of media, coming from really traditional um, work from very traditional artists to um, really contemporary works. And our goal there is really to just um, expose the students to a variety of approaches to art making um, and to kind of open their eyes and give them first-hand experience of viewing art and, and interacting with art so that they'll want to seek out um, art in their daily life. They'll want to go to museums, they'll want to experience like, art around them and so that it becomes a part of who they are. And that's really our goal. Present for consideration and discussion a certain philosophy or set of attitudes aimed at enjoyment of all the arts. An artist's work is not a recording of facts, but a revelation of life. Never go to art to have previous impressions confirmed. Go to art to enjoy new experiences, for paintings are records of experience. All of us have capacities for enjoyment as yet untried and unrecognized. One of the first things I noticed here at Coe College is that the doors are normally unlocked. Uh, and for me, that's something really wonderful and magical, where students can kind of come and go and try things out. And also the curriculum has an openness that allows them to uh, take a variety of classes, explore different mediums, for them to really kind of explore and find their own artistic voice. Here at Co, it's really important to cultivate that genuine interest in art, and it really helps students be lifelong art makers. My approach to teaching here at Co College is very much um, an extension of the entire history of art being applied to the new digital domain. And this synthesis of the old and new is very much the spirit of the place here at Co College. We incorporate new technologies as they develop and help students make sense of them through conceptual-based methodology. Students need to be fully aware and engaged um, in the classroom. Oftentimes, I show students a wide range of subject matter, um, a wide range of art and historical uh, movements, uh, from uh, the mundane to the experimental to um, the avant-garde, uh, and that really enriches the classroom, helps students become more engaged with a long history of art. To have that spirit and that um, passion uh, for what they do um, is really going to be serving them um, best by the, for when they graduate. 
Men do not really live by stocks and bonds, bank credits, cattle, hogs, corn, electricity, airplanes, ocean liners, but by abstract ideals such as courage, faith, honesty, hope, perseverance, love, religion. When we can actually see ideals, they become very real to us. Art takes an abstraction and makes it audible or visual. It symbolizes the whole of life. We believe in something we can see. People who help us to believe are very valuable in a nation or in a community.